Hi, today I'm going to show you how to build self-confidence and mental strength. But I also have another task for today and it's to build a bookshelf for my home office. Here it is. So, uh, okay. I was wondering what building a bookshelf and building self-confidence and mental strength have in common. And I came up with really interesting conclusion in science and analogy that truly changed the way I think and feel about self-confidence and mental strength. So I'm basically going to show you how I build self-confidence and mental strength by building a bookshelf. The analogy is really interesting and I can't wait to show and tell you. So let's start right away. Building a bookshelf and building self-confidence and mental strength are similar to each other in numerous ways. Let's explore this analogy. Imagine embarking on a task of building a bookshelf from scratch. At the outset, you may feel overwhelmed by the complexity of the project, uncertain if you possess the necessary skills or knowledge to complete it successfully. Similarly, when it comes to self-confidence and mental strength, you might find yourself grappling with doubts and insecurities, questioning your abilities and worth. Just as building a bookshelf requires a blueprint or plan, developing self-confidence and mental strength requires a clear vision of the person you aspire to become. It involves setting goals, identifying your values, and envisioning the qualities you wish to cultivate within yourself. This blueprint serves you as a guide, providing direction and purpose. As you gather the tools and materials required for the bookshelf, you begin to realize the importance of preparation and acquiring the right resources. Similarly, in the realm of self-confidence and mental strength, equipping yourself with knowledge, skills, and support system becomes vital. This may involve seeking guidance from mentors, pursuing personal development resources, or surrounding yourself with positive influences. What helped me is my family members, my boys, And my husband was here to just hug me and kiss me, and that was enough. Sometimes we just need to feel that there is someone who is taking care of us, who is supporting us, and who is simply there. During the construction process, you encounter obstacles and challenges. The wood may not fit perfectly, or it could collapse. Problems or you might make mistake along the way. In those moments, resilience becomes crucial. Similarly, as you strive to build self-confidence and mental strength, setbacks and failures are inevitable. However, it is through these challenges that you learn valuable lessons and discover your capacity for resilience. Each setback becomes an opportunity for growth and adaptation. Building a bookshelf demands patience and perseverance. It requires taking one step at a time, ensuring each component is aligned and secured before moving forward. Likewise, developing self-confidence and mental strength requires patience. It involves acknowledging that personal growth is a gradual process with no quick fixes. It requires consistent effort, self-compassion, and an understanding that change takes time. Finally, as the bookshelf nears completion, you step back and admire your creation. A sense of accomplishment washes over you as you witness the tangible results of your hard work and dedication. When you cultivate self-confidence and mental strength, you experience a profound sense of achievement. You recognize 
the process you have made, the obstacles you have overcome, and the resilience you have developed. This recognition serves as a testament to your inner strength and reinforces your belief in your own capabilities. In the end, both building a bookshelf and building self-confidence and mental strength are transformative processes. They require determination, resilience, and the willingness to confront challenges. As you witness the bookshelf standing tall and sturdy, and as you witness your own personal growth, you come to understand that both endeavors are not just about the end result, but about the journey itself. The journey that shapes you, builds your character, and empowers you to embrace the boundless possibilities that lay ahead. Books have an incredible power to shape and enhance our self-confidence and mental strength. Here are some ways in which books can help us in this regard. Knowledge and insights. Books provide us with valuable knowledge, insights and perspectives on various aspects of life. By exploring different characters, their journeys and the challenges they face, we can gain a deeper understanding of the human experience. This knowledge broadens our horizons and enables us to approach our own struggles with a more informed and resilient mindset. Role models and inspiration. Books often present us with relatable and inspiring characters who exhibit qualities such as courage, resilience and determination. These characters can serve as role models and sources of inspiration. As we witness their growth and triumphs, we learn valuable lessons about overcoming obstacles, embracing adversity, and believing in ourselves. Emotional connection and empathy. Books have the remarkable ability to evoke emotions and foster empathy. When we read about characters going through similar challenges or emotions as our own, we realize that we are not alone in our experiences. This connection cultivates empathy and compassion, allowing us to better understand our own struggles and extend understanding and kindness to ourselves. Self-reflection and personal growth. Books often prompt introspection and self-reflection by engaging with characters and their stories, we can gain insight into our own strengths, weaknesses, and personal growth opportunities. Books encourage us to ask meaningful questions about ourselves, challenge our limiting beliefs, and explore new perspectives fostering personal development and self-awareness. Practical strategies and techniques. Many books offer practical strategies, techniques and exercises to improve self-confidence and mental strength. These can include mindfulness practices, positive affirmations, cognitive behavioral techniques or goal-setting frameworks. By implementing these strategies into our lives, we can actively work on building our confidence and resilience. Building vocabulary and communication skills. Improving our self-confidence and mental strength often involves effective communication and expressing ourselves assertively. Reading books enhances our vocabulary language skills and articulation abilities, enabling us to express our thoughts, ideas, and 
needs more confidently. This in turn contributes to our overall self-assuredness and mental fortitude. Escapism and relaxation. Sometimes self-confidence and mental strength can be both increased simply by finding solace and relaxation in the world of books. Reading allows us to temporarily escape our worries, unwind and recharge. This respite from daily stressors can positively impact our mental well-being, helping us approach challenges with renewed vigor and clarity. Books have the potential to ignite our imagination, expand our knowledge and transform our inner world. By exploring various genres and authors, we can discover the books that resonate with us personally and provide the greatest support in our journey toward enhanced self-confidence and mental strength. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll talk to you very soon. Have a nice day and a nice week. Goodbye.